Well, good afternoon. It's, it's good afternoon, right? Good afternoon? No. Almost, almost. Two more Two minutes. minutes. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome to the first day of coverings. Uh, I'm Dean Moylanin. James Medina. Known as the James Dean Show. Yes, okay. right. And the, uh, while our, our guys back there, Dave DeCam and Dave Kennedy, um, Dave Kennedy's a licensed contractor, as Dave DeCam is also. They're spreading some adhesive, but while they're doing that, James, a little background about yourself? Yeah, I'll give a little bit in, little background on myself. I've been in the industry for 30 years. I've uh, been a contractor, worked a, a, on the owner side, uh, project manager, did a few little things in Vegas. Um, but really have a passion for this. Got certified in flowing forensics in 06 uh, and kind of went down that rabbit hole. So now I work for Noble as their, one of their directors of architectural services. Dean. Did you, did you work for Steve Wynn? Yeah. Project manager for Steve Wynn for the Wynn at Encore. Yeah. And yeah. if you go out to the McCar Henry Reed Airport, yep. Terminal 3, That's these me, huge yeah. stone claddings. Yeah. Did You're that. in charge of that. So. James knows what he's talking about, but today we're going to talk about a new product for a noble company. By the way, we are a U.S.-based manufacturer. Yep. We make our sheet membranes in years. Baton Rouge, yep. Louisiana. Our other products, which are linear drains, clamping ring drains, waterproof niches, benches, Pro, Pro Base Deck, two. Yep. Pro, Pro Base 2, made in our home office in Spring Lake, Michigan. But you know, what happened uh, a couple of years ago, and I think most of us have seen this, there's been a move in prefabricated pans and trays, okay? And uh, there's a variety of products out there. Uh, we took a little different tack, okay? A lot of these products are using a three pound foam. Well, one of the reasons why we had that genesis, do I have to move this down slightly or are you good? Okay. Um, one of the genesis we had for, because we're going with that is the speed and ease of insulation of, of these products. So you'll see like uh, most of the time uh, when you did a, 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 a dry pack mortar system, it actually have to have an artisan trade to do it. They have to know what they're doing, they have to mix the mud, they have to, be, has a, have, to have the right amount of moisture content in it. So you have to make sure that whoever's doing this floating or the mudding uh, knew, what, knew what they were doing. We've seen a lot of, we've seen a lot of jobs that were, went south bad, like pretty bad. So uh, a lot of, we're not the only ones that manufacture pre-manufactured uh, pre shower pans. So what we did was we looked at all the issues that they were having and then we addressed them simply addressed them. And some of the ways we did it, one of them was compression. Uh, they saw that there was a compression issue. And so, if you turn that around, a lot of the products out there, Most when of our using, competitors are using a three pound foam, okay? Nothing wrong with that, okay? About 35, 40 pounds of PSI, okay? If, yeah, but, ish. what we do, uh, we have a proprietary honeycomb matrix that goes on top of the three pound foam. The PSI is 235. Uh, there is no point loading, there is yeah. no compression. Uh, you can use one by one, penny round, you name it, okay? Yeah. So it's not an issue. Also cu fully customizable. Correct. Whatever size you need for your waterproofing, we pre-waterproof it where, where the drain location is, we put the drain location there, whether it's our linear drain or clamping ring drain. So, so that's where the genesis was, where we started coming out to the decks, because we got a lot of questions, contractors, uh, one thing about Noble is we're trying to be innovative. We try to. We may not be the first ones out of the market, but we try to answer all those problems that are out there in the industry. And so what happened was they said, "Well, can we do this for an exterior? Can we?" So we started testing it. We in Michigan, we made a, a whole deck. We we put the deck, put it outside, let it go through a Michigan several Michigan winters uh, in, in the cycle, and it performed very well. So now we have today Pro Deck. And what they've, been, what they've been skimming out is our proprietary adhesive, Noble Bond EXT. Uh, it's used in wet areas, showers, obviously does real well on exteriors. It's a wet set. It will bond to dissimilar surfaces. The nice thing about it, whether you're installing our membranes or our Pro Base 2, there's no curing and drying. So I think you guys have skimmed so, out. Yeah, so what you guys see right here is, is they skimmed it out on a cementitious surface so that they can wet set that. If you're familiar with anything that's like a pressure sensitive glue, it's very similar to it. But now because it's on a porous surface, they can wet set it and install it. Now what you'll see here, Dean, can you move that that way so everybody can see? And this is one of the points we're going to talk about. I did not want to do that today, but you can see how it's already pitched. From your guys' viewpoint, I'm going to move out of your way, but you can actually see how that's pitching. That's already preformed. All he's doing is walking it in place. 
And what that's designed to do is take away from the mudding process. So now if you were mudding this, you would have to make level strips. You gotta make sure you're pitching it toward the, the uh, edge of that um, uh, deck. So what Dave is doing, just basically walking it in place and, and then he's going to put the next piece in. That's the A piece and there'll be a B piece which will just follow in suit. Now what's nice about it is if you were doing a deck system, anybody knows if you had to float out a system, usually a deck is flat, whether it's a renovation or it's a new construction. Um, we're going to put the primary waterproofing on the very top. We're not going to depend on being on the very bottom where it's flat. We want to get that water off the deck. And y'all in Florida, you know about water. So um, we want to get that water off the deck. By the way, uh, we recommend uh, you're going to have different kinds of substrates. This is a quarter inch exterior rated backer board. Okay, you could use quarter inch, half inch, five eighths, whatever works for you. Um, but we recommend, in general, an eighth-inch V-notch trowel. Okay, right. eighth-inch V-notch trowel. Coverage is going to be between 250 to 325 square feet per bucket. Again, in the real world, this would would get tacky, would be exposed to the environment to grab to, to build that tack that you want. It's a wet set adhesive. But once you bond down the sheet membrane or the pro base, there's no curing or drying. Okay, a couple things that typically come up with any exterior deck, uh, make sure you flash. I can't believe my jobs we go on, doesn't matter whose product's on that job, we go on a failure, and unbelievably, they have not flashed up against the main building. There may be siding there, there may be brick, there may be EFIS coating, but whatever you have to do with anyone's product, and with our product, Noble Deck or Pro Deck, you have to flash up when you meet that main dwelling or you're probably going to have a failure. So in the, in the thought process of, of all of that, uh, we have flashing material that's pre-made, comes with a system. So it's going to go, I, can, I don't know if I want to hand this around, but it's pretty, it's a, not a nice little weighty, but it's made out of uh, Noble Deck. And basically with the unique feature of Noble Deck, uh, it's a CPE membrane, chlorinated polyethylene. And those who have ever used this before understand what I'm doing. When you I do an upturn at a wall, you can pre-crease it, it'll hold the crease, where uh, an HDPE, high-density polyethylene or polyvinyl chloride will not do that. Uh, so that makes it a, a really nice finish. You look like you'd like to play around with it. You want to hold that? So now, that little will come with you. This product does come either waterproofed or non-waterproofed, okay? So what they're doing is right now is a non-waterproof system. And so you, as you can see, this deck is a little bit shorter than what what would be out on, on the job site. So now he's gonna probably have to trim that piece. Now I want you guys to pay attention because you're probably asking like, well, how do you get, what's gonna happen when he comes to this end? You know, how, how easy is it to cut in the field? So they're gonna demonstrate exactly how they're gonna cut this in the field. I'm gonna use a straight edge and then they're gonna just trim it with a utility knife and then it snaps. It's very easy to do. And if you do order this, uh, by the way, we can do custom sizing on this. Correct. We have a stock program that could be waterproofed or pre-waterproofed, consists of four by four yep. pieces of our Pro Base 2 Pro Deck that could be waterproofed or not. But so when in doubt, always order your, your sizing a little larger than you need. It's a lot easier to trim the excess than to try to fill in a void with dry pack mortar, okay? So one of the questions that we've got was uh, one of the performance standards, what, what do you, how did you improve this, this installation process? Well, one of the things is when you look at styrofoam, you look at the honeycomb, you look at the piece itself, is right behind Dean. Dean, can you grab that piece right behind you? The piece, the, the four by four piece. Oh yeah, 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 sure. So just to give you an idea, this is a 60 pound bag of cement right in front of me, right over here. It takes nine of these to do a 16 square foot section. That's roughly, let's just average it to eight pounds a square foot, that's 540 pounds of this section. Now we've made it so that it's light enough to put it in place. It's and so- It's a 90% reduction. It's a 90% reduction in the weight of that area, which is extremely helpful, especially when you're doing a, a renovation and you're worried about putting a, an added amount of weight on, an, on, a, on a deck. So when you, whenever you're thinking about it, this is a really great consideration. You're gonna get the strength you're gonna be able to get on it a lot faster. If I can cut down the days of installation, it's gonna help out tremendously. And also, you don't wanna haul up that many bags of mud and mix the mud and bring it up there. So, if that's you are gonna order the pre waterproof 4x4 segments, we do have a cap strip. 
Hello? Oh, hello? Sorry, that was We're back good. live. Yeah. <laughs> we do have a cap strip yep. that will be uh, put over the seams, okay? If required, you'll use Noble Sealant 250. By the way, for those of you who don't realize it, we've migrated away from Noble Sealant 150. It's still out there. It's a great product, but 250, you can flood test and you might, there might be situations where you might want to flood test a deck. If you have drains that you're waterproofing to, probably want to flood test that detail, but you can flood test within an hour, okay? Within an hour. Now, as you can see, obviously, they put the EXT on the, on the flashing area. And of course, some considerations to always uh, be aware of. When you're outside on an exterior deck, movement joints are critical. You have to find, follow TCNA guidelines for movement joints, perimeter details. Hypercritical because of the exterior cycling that occurs on exterior applications. So just, just to let you guys know, we're over at, just right behind you on booth 2934. If you, we have more information. Uh, also, we have a display there showing. Now, um, an important factor to remember also, though this is, they're gonna do a wet set here just because of time. Now, when it goes over the surface, obviously, whenever you're using a type of glue like this on a, a surface that is uh, not permeable, you want to make sure this flashes off. Roughly, how long, Dave, how long does it take to flash off on a, on a surface, depending on the day? It all depends on the conditions of the day, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So, what you want it to do, it's pressure sensitive, it's just stick your finger on it. If it's got legs, it gets stringy. Good Correct. Time. So, what he was saying is you, you're going to see this light-colored... Uh, adhesive turn almost like an amber, darker amber color. And the way to test it, you just stick your finger, put it in it, put it right on the, on the finger, and you put it like this, and you'll see spider webs. And you know you're ready to go. And obviously, because this is not cured off, demo purposes only, the membrane's not going to aggressively bond. But when you're using this EXT correctly and it's flashed off, you're going to have an aggressive, it's going to grab that yep. membrane, okay? One more little tip or trick. All these membranes come on a roll, okay? So if you're in the field and Snap you cut your membrane, yeah. flip it over on the reverse side so when you install it, you start curving up on you. A little yeah. thing, and also, when you're flashing, pre-fold all your flashing. Makes life a lot easier. Don't try to tuck it with your fingers, okay? Remember, you know, we do say you can bond this down with modified thin side to your grade, but the problem is in the field, you can only put down a certain amount of modified thin side with an eighth inch trowel when it, if it flashes off, it won't bond. Correct. Yeah. You could, and you, and you could, yeah, you can, you can bond the membrane with an exterior rated modified thin set. You can bond the probase with an exterior rated modified, modified thin set. set. Nothing wrong with that, but the vast majority of uh, people who use our products have migrated to the Noble on EXT. It's just a lot simpler to use. There's no mixing, there's no slaking. When you're done, put the lid back on the bucket. When you use when you use the EXT Sorry? glue, the it will enhance the crack isolation product, uh, the, the performance of the product. Right now, uh, those who know Noble, we've we've really prided ourselves on ANSI 118.12 and ANSI 118.10, waterproofing and crack isolation. This is high performance. You're looking at high performance crack isolation and a waterproofing membrane that it is uh, considered low permeation. We had a question. I would if I would not let this EXT sit for over an hour. After a certain point, it's, it's, going, it's going to go off on you, okay? If that does happen to you, if you're on a job, you get ahead of yourself, there's a delay, just simply put more EXT down. Don't take the old product up. Don't try to clean it up with a flat trowel. Just put more XT down over the cured EXT, okay? Correct. And here's our unpaid, our Vanna White, Brian Runkle. <laughs> Plumber's crack is no extra charge. <laughs> you don't have one, don't worry, you're good. <laughs> now, one of, the, one of the items that we want to mention, like as he's putting down this first roll, now he's going to be hand rolling it in place. You can use a 90 pound roll or whatever you want to use to, to, to do it, but he wants to make sure that there's a 100% bond underneath. Pound roll right now. Uh, yeah, now it's a 200 pound well, roller. Yeah, we do on top of that, it's about a 200 pound roll, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, one good point, please don't use the flat side of your trowel. Nah. I've seen guys and gals try to do this, you're going to end up feeling like Popeye, okay? And, and, and by the way, this is different than a, a modified thin set. With any kind of thin set you want, almost total coverage of your yeah. sheet uh, to your membrane or to your tile or to your stone, you know, 95% plus. 
uh, with a wet set, you want to fully embed this, but you're not going to see total encapsulation of, of, the, of the adhesives to the membrane. So one of, one of the items we're going we're to discuss right now, as they're doing their, their shingle overlap of the second sheet, now on the second sheet, they're going to measure out two inches to see exactly where their overlap is going to fall. That's really important. Uh, and with any shingle overlap, you're going, well, how do you address the seam? You don't use the same adhesive. We have actually Noble 250 uh, sealant. And that very unique feature of that Noble 252 sealant is that it, uh, it'll actually, if water touches it, it actually activates it as a chemical reaction. So it actually will cure faster. It's you a low VOC product. It guns out a lot easier than our old 150. And of course, we're trying to be environmentally conscious and make sure that workers are exposed to as little high VOC products as possible in the workplace. And again, once again, our lovely Vanna White, i.e. Brian Runkle, <laughs> one of our most successful longtime reps in the middle Atlantic states. Great guy. Thank so, you, Brian. So while they're addressing this area... I'll buy a hot dog and soda pop for well, lunch. While they're addressing this area, we prefer, if you're doing an installation on, a, on any type of deck, you can see how the guys are coming up to it and they're going to trowel it in place, if you will, in that same sheet. If you can make it a single sheet, fantastic. But if you need to and it terminates right at that edge of that building, it's okay. We, can, we have that, that edge uh, to, to put in place. Now, you're probably wondering how do we do the edge, if there is any edge. Uh, one of the ways they have is this normal drip, drip edge. This looks like it's seen some better days, but uh, if you have a drip <laughs> edge on the edge of, <laughs> of your, your deck, uh, the membrane's going to go right on the top of that. Make sure it's held back about a half an inch and your tile can extend past that so that that, that, that uh, outside edge is not exposed. Uh, now, what if you don't have a drip edge on your deck? What if you have a drain? on the end and you want to make sure that it consumes. So we have some make options. Make sure you wrap those edges. If you, if you don't have a drip edge, right. you're going to have to figure out a way to wrap the edge. Uh, again, looking at failures of anyone's exterior deck systems, hard to believe, but I've seen exposed edges on the side of the deck, exposed edges on the front of the deck. Um, don't do that, okay? Figure out a way to make sure your deck is totally uh, encapsulated. By the way, we'll be doing a very uh, similar NTCA webinar Hit the deck. May 22nd, yep. called Hit the Deck. So if you'd like a more rigorous examination of the reasons why decks don't last, why there are yeah. failures, things to watch out for, it's like watching, watching join us on May 22nd, on, on the okay? So right now, Dave uh, Kennedy is, is tooling in the Noble 250. He's peeled back to make sure he's got 100% coverage. But when he does that, he uses the edge of his margin trowel and he knows it's going to be tooled in properly at 100% because you see how it squeezes out. So you want to have an adequate coverage. What we ask for is 100% coverage on that seam. And the way, best way to see that is when you start seeing it squirt out that, that end. And he'll tool it back. Now, you don't want to be crazy and get it all over the place. The, the thin set will bond to it. But you see how he just simply cleans it up. That's, it's done. Okay. And we are pretty much going to wrap things up. James, what's that in your pocket? Oh, yeah, if you have a custom deck, if you have a custom deck, and we're talking about the drains, some of the drains that we have available, we can make it where there's a drain flash, a pre-flashed drain, or what's unique about this is that's where the most dynamic movement will happen on a drain, uh, is where the drain the location is, but these are uh, manufactured up in Michigan, and we have it, and it's all pre-sloped in the interior, we make them multiple different sizes, we've used them on many deck jobs. Uh, around the United States. Now, if it's a different shaper, we have also preformed corners that easily fit in your pocket. But uh, <laughs> inside, outside corners that we have uh, preformed and made. Um, but it's a very easy system. We invite anybody. I think we're pretty much done. Yes. You can come up, look at it, feel it. Come over to our booth, talk to us. Yep, 2934. And by the way, if our linear drains are available in custom sizes. Yep. Pro Base 2 and Pro Deck custom sizes. Thank you very much, Dave Kennedy, Dave DeCam. Thank you, James everybody, Medina. for coming. Thank you for coming. Have a great show, okay? Right. Thank you.